What's up, YouTubers, Red Wings, and Jazz fans? This is the review of my uh, first Android phone, the LG Optimus T for T Mobile. Up front, we have a 3.2 inch HVGA 320 by 480 display. You have your four Android buttons, these are physical keys. You have your menu, home, back, and search, top, power button, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. On the back you have a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus, no flash. I have a nice case on here. And uh, yeah, on the bottom you have your micro USB charging port and microphone. Uh, just slide unlock here. You have a choice of five or seven home screens. And, uh, and as you can tell I have five on here. Um, messaging, you have a couple of options coming out of the box. You have uh, the Android keyboard. It's alright. You have swipe, in which you will just swipe across the screen. That's the and you get haptic feedback with that and then my favorite and uh, this is available in the Android market and that's better keyboard 8 I really like this keyboard nice haptic feedback and uh, pretty good only a 600 megahertz processor here though so things are gonna lag quite a bit I mean if you if you want a phone for gaming then you're gonna wanna go with a different one the camera does not take very good pictures, and the video is very lackluster as well. Um, you have YouTube on here, Facebook app, uh, of course your email, Wi-Fi calling, it's got built-in Wi-Fi of course, um, what else? Got Google search, and the bad thing is um, you cannot delete any of these apps up here the ones that were pre-installed so if there's something that you're not going to use then you can't delete it. Um, there are a lot of apps available um, through the Android market so I would suggest getting a big SD card considering there's not a whole lot of built-in memory with this phone considering it's pretty um, mid-range maybe even low range but uh, yeah that was a quick review of the LG Optimus T. I'm Red Wings and Jazz fan. Um, peace out, and as always, stay classy, YouTube.